we have European Super Featherweight title action as Manchester's Zelfa Barrett faces the champion Farouk Korbanov. So just as I was saying that Gorbanov has managed to rebuild his career after that defeat the last time here in the UK against Joe Cordina. So Zelfa Barrett has done likewise after the single defeat in his career against Ronnie Clark four years ago. Eight straight wins since then. One of them against world champion Kiko Martinez. On the night when the decision was hotly disputed. But Zelfa Barrett building and building towards what he was saying to us beforehand. He hopes will be world title honours. But first up, it's a tilt at European glory tonight to emulate his uncle in the corner, Pat, who was European super lightweight champion three decades and more ago. We saw Kovano fight against Joe Cardina recently, and what he showed there is good fundamentals, fights behind the high guard, and brings a lot of pressure. And although he doesn't have a lot of knockouts in his career, looks like he carries some power in his right hand. And although Barrett was talking in the build-up about how Joe Cordina's chance possibly could have and should have been his chance at Kenichi Ogawa for the world title, clearly he hasn't overlooked Kubanov because he's been on point here so far as we reach close to the halfway stage of the fourth round. Yeah, and there's his motivation, Mike. Not just winning the European title, but beating Kobanov in a better style and a better fashion than what Cordina did. To say, look, I deserve that title fight and I want the winner of the main event. Slicked inside the jab there, Zelfa Barrett, and didn't quite time that left hand to the body and then tried to make room for the right uppercut and clicked good up on the way in. This is a good attack by Barrett. Good uppercut again. And this is the time, Joshua, to build on that momentum, that success. It is, and, and what I'm seeing here, this is like a sparring match where you kind of let the opponent hit you a bit, and when you're annoyed, you step forward, just to remind him, just to let him know, I'm controlling this session, and right now, that's what Zelfa is doing. When he wants, and as he wants, he picks it up, he reminds him, look, I'm controlling this. It's when he has those moments or, or lapses in concentration, uh, Joshua, he gets caught, yeah. and you can see he's annoyed with himself, even nods or gestures to his corner to say, okay, won't let that happen again. For sure. And he's been angling the right hand around the side, around the side, sometimes straight, but he's starting to find a home for it with the upper court. And that could be really, could be the talent punch in this, in this fight. Looking to set him up now, I think, for jabbing to the body. Looking maybe for the left hook upstairs. And an important night, Joshua, in the career of and the life of Zelfa Barrett. And he's clearly risen to the occasion so far. He has. And every time I see Zelfa box, of course, he's got a winning record. He took the one defeat years ago, but he's always out boxing people, man. Um, like I said, I'm a very, very big fan of what he does every time he punches. It's amazing to watch. It's beautiful to see, man. And like, and like Andy said a minute ago, he's mixing up the right hands. They're coming around the side. They're coming straight. He's going downstairs. Good right hand over there, over the top. And credit to the resilience of Kubana for taking that shot as we head into the last half a minute of this, the sixth round. And that defeat that... Joshua was referring to, described by Zelfa Barrett as a wake-up call, beaten on points, a majority decision over 12 rounds by Ronnie Clark back in February of 2018. 
and has built his career unbeaten in four years and eight fights since. And there's a real confidence oozing from the gloves of the Mancunian here so far as we reach the halfway stage of his first tilt at European glory. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful step back up a left hook. Such wonderful timing and for any young boxer making his way through the, the art of catch and carry here has been very very impressive for himself about and the composure as well he's been under fire yep. look how comfortable he looks look how calm he looks and look he looks like he's enjoying his work <laughs> oh. again varying the line of attack shot to the body shot to the head and then reversing it The style out, the misstep, the one misstep he made, Barrett. But it's beautiful boxing. Inside, outside, long range, short range, up close. Every department, Andy, yeah. every single department. And Joshua was saying, what can he do? Well, Cabana is at least trying all that he's got. And, and like Andy said earlier on, we, we have to give him credit. Fighting very spirited, he's not willing to just hand over this title, it's going to have to be snatched from him. And when a man is doing that, you have to give him credit. Still sharp, still powerful at the end of the ninth round. Oh, oh beautiful. That One of the best it. single punches of the fight, and Kurbanov is forced to back off. Brave as he is, resilient as he is. As well as he takes a shot, he had to back off. Barrett not getting greedy on his success, to use Andy's phrase, waiting for his next opportunity, knowing it would come and it's come. And this is a man who's grown fight by fight, challenge by challenge after that setback four years ago, made that work for him and has built and built against a succession of opponents and now is set to be crowned the new European super featherweight champion after a performance of wonderful consistency. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds here in Cardiff, we go to the judges' score totals. Mika Lindgren, 120-108. John Yona Fernandez, 119-109. Jurgen Lango scores this contest, 118 to 110. All three for your winner by unanimous decision and the new European Super Federal.